You guys might have seen this before. I've never seen it, so watch this. I push this button right here, and the whole top folds up. So just opening. How cool is that? This is totally Jurassic Park. So look, it's just huge. And then it kind of just folds up in little flaps like that, looking down into the car. And then a while back here, I'll go ahead and show you the back seat. It's got kind of these um, webbed pieces on the back. I don't know if that's to hook things onto, probably. And you have some charge points here. So USB-C, USB, you can roll windows up and down. Looks like it even has a proper power outlet to so maybe plug in a laptop or something. Got cup holders in the um, armrest where you can pick up a third person right there. But wait, there's more. Wait till you see the back. All right, we're walking up. Wanted to point out that you do have the blind spot in the mirror, so it's gonna warn you if someone's in your blind spot. It is keyless, so the key can stay in my pocket. Just unlock by pushing the button. It does have the power windows on the door and the window, I'm oh, sorry, the door locks. There's those cool steps. So you go step, step, step. Get right up into it. Here's your lights. Current mileage is 26,290. Let me fire it up, hold on one sec. So just push button start. There's a little Jeep that kind of runs through the mileage and comes out the other side. Shows you it's a Rubicon. I think they're on satellite radio right now. And it does have the adaptive cruise control. Your cruise, looks like some uh, buttons to control the center up here. Phone. Windshield wipers, normal stuff. It does have a, a chip right here. We're either gonna fill it or replace the windshield. It's pretty common on a Jeep to get a chip in your windshield. Um, you could put the backup camera on. Looks like it's got um, heated seats. Yeah, heated steering wheel as well. That's pretty neat. Go back to media. It's gonna take me some time to figure that stuff out. All right, and then you've got um, physical buttons right here for your heated seats, your um, steering wheel, recirculate, AC controls. All your windows are there. It's got a cover for um, USB-C and USB. It is four wheel drive. You can lock the um, front and back axles. A sway bar you can activate. Looks like they got some auxiliary buttons. double um, armrest with another USB charge point right there. There's your passenger seat. I love the red stitching, Rubicon on the seat, and a little bit of red in here kind of breaks it up so it doesn't feel like it's so um, like enclosed. But wait, here's my favorite part. Hold on one second. I gotta open the door for this. Hold on. All right, so we're coming up on the back. You've got your recovery hook, your toe hitch. So this will open to the side check this out so it's got like a little like a table right here it pulls down let me unhook it see so it's got little strings that hold it there's a place to set your um, cups it actually looks like the grill of a Jeep right there with the headlights and it's got a little Jeep cut out right there it's called the uh, trail rail ready I'll put it back up And then I'll raise this up. There's your cargo bay right here. It has a um, like a soft padded mat, and then you have the um, hooks to secure cargo. And then under here, this is the bag for all your winch stuff. So hold on, let me pull it up. So this is going to have all the um, recovery straps and stuff for your winch. I'll unzip it and just show you real quick. So you got your um, the owner's manual some gloves so when you're pulling the cable out you're not gonna hurt your hands and then these are gonna wrap around trees and stuff so you're not gonna hurt your cable on your winch and there might be something else under there some um, little D rings I'll zip this back up and I want to show you that little tool kit as well check it out hold on hey while I'm showing you the back there also are some um, extra mirrors so I don't know if they um, just never installed them or what and then little covers for the lights and then this is your handheld winch operation cable right there so you can run the cable in and out it's 
switch modes. See if I can get this closed down. All right, let me show you this. So um, this is kind of a toolkit. And up here you've got um, some gloves. There's um, his and hers, the gloves. And then there's this um, toolkit that kind of rolls out. Has um, different tools in here. It's got a little um, measuring tape in honor of Stanley Coker, number one salesperson here at the dealership. And I don't know why you need a, uh, a hammer. You got a hammer as well. So all this was um, folded up into this. Let you know the brand. Right there. All right, let me pack all this up. I'm gonna need two hands, hold on. So I got it all bundled back up. Just kind of mounts right there on the um, roll bar. And I'll uh, close this down right there and then close this back very cool guys um, I raised the hood earlier took some static photos but I'm not gonna be able to do that one-handed and I'm gonna get my hands all dirty so I'm not doing that again but um, check out the car you're seeing it here first so you're kind of getting a head start and you're on the lot with Stephen Hill give me a call this one's available right now